Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I am so thankful that you are here. Now, let me ask you, have you ever sat down to solve a math problem and felt completely lost? I mean, having no idea what is going on. Well, I've been there. I remember having that feeling too in middle school and high school, and it's really a common experience. So that's why in this video here, we are going to uncover some of the reasons why you might be bad at math and really how you can turn things around. Now, before we go any further, my friends, if you know anyone else that is bad at math, share this video with them, please. And of course, if you're new here, click that subscribe button. So let's start off with identifying the root causes. Why are some people bad at math? Okay, to start with, it's a lack of foundation, right? Some people really miss the foundation part of math, and then when it comes to harder math, they can't do it. So let's think about this like a house, okay? If you have a house and you don't have a foundation for the house, then what's gonna happen? You're not going to have a solid house above that foundation, and it causes all sorts of problems, right? Your house can blow over in the wind, a hurricane happens, really bad things happen if you don't have that foundation. And the same is true with math. You simply cannot succeed in math if you lack foundational math skills. Okay, next we have poor study habits. So I remember when I was in college, sometimes I would study with friends. Study was really just an idea of social hour, and I didn't do as well on the test because my studying was not really effective. And so if you don't have effective techniques, then you're not really going to learn the material and do as well. Next we have negative mindset. And I think that this one is actually the most common. Really believing that you cannot do math, right? And since you cannot do math, you will not succeed. If you've been with me for a while, in all of my videos, I talk about how you need to believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, then you will do better on your test. And the same goes true with math. If you believe that you can do math, if you work hard and try your best, then you're gonna do a lot better than if you believe that you can't do it. And finally, the belief in the math gene. So let's debunk this. The math gene is, oh, she has the math gene and I don't. That's why she's good at math and I'm not, right? So this is completely false, right? There is no math gene, right? There's the difference between understanding it and not working hard to get it and not lacking the foundations versus having the foundations. And so it has nothing to do at all with your genes. So now let me share a few practical math tips with you to really improve your skills. So starting off with strengthening your foundations, right? Just like I mentioned with your house, you've got to have that nice foundation. So there are so many resources that can help you. Here on my channel, I have several videos. I have fractions, how to memorize the multiplication table, right? Knowing some of the basics in math will help you be able to better understand more complicated math problems. And not only that, my friends, but knowing how to use a calculator will actually help you with your math skills as well, right? We think we know how to use a calculator, but do we really? Hmm. <laughs> Make sure that you know how to use a calculator to your advantage. Okay, learn effective studying techniques. As I mentioned, there are so many resources out there that can help you. Not just my videos, but there are so many great math videos. Uh, Brian McLogan is one of my favorite mathematicians teachers to watch. Also Math Antics. There's several out there on YouTube that can help you really understand your basic math skills. Now, sometimes people also want to make it more active learning, right? I just did a video on mean, median, and mode, and I talked about donut, right? If you can make the math problem relatable to you and maybe a little bit more fun, then it's going to make you more engaged and more focused in your learning. Overcoming the negative mindset. So we've talked about it before having that positive self-talk. So I can do math, I can do hard things. Math is going to help me succeed. Think about phrases like that and say them to yourself over and over and over and over and you will eventually develop a positive mindset or growth mindset toward math and then you're ultimately going to do better on your math tests. 
But sometimes we just need to seek help. So go check out local resources that you have, maybe an adult education center or a tutoring program. Get that one-on-one -on -one help that you might need that will help you succeed ultimately in math. And then there's also patience and persistence, right? So you're not gonna be a mathematician, a super math whiz overnight, right? It's going to take practice. And sometimes you're just going to have to step aside for a little bit. I worked with a student last week and I'm like, just need to take a break, right? Take a break, go home, have some dinner, be with your family, and then come back tomorrow with a refreshed mind. Sometimes we just need to take a little break, right? But know that Rome wasn't built in a day. And you can do this, right? One math concept at a time, you will get there. Just be purely persistent. My friends, I have so much faith in you. I know that you can do math, okay? Say this with me. I can do math. Did you actually say it? Maybe let's say it again. I can do math. Say that to yourself again and again. And my friends, you can. I believe in you. Believe in yourself too. You can do math and you can do hard things. Peace, my friends.